today we have Mike Trout explaining where he stands in the batter's box. And when I seen this video, I was like, I need to make a video about it because it's something that no one talks about. You got everyone talking about loading the hit for power, extension for power. You got them talking about lower half, diving into the ball or scissors for power. But no one is really talking about what you really need to do to hit for power. And that is hitting the ball out front and that right there is what Mike Trout does and that's why he's hitting for more power but there's a few other things that he says in this clip that allows him to hit for power and we're going to dive into it right now so what about what about you know we, we, you know we look at different guys how they where, where they stand in, in the box where are you in relation to the play? yeah I'm in the back yeah. I'm in the back of the box back uh you know right corner so we're on the line um so you're on top of the plate, like you're, yeah, you're on like, top of the plate. You're writing the, the line yeah. on the plate. Yep. Yeah. Yep. On top of the plate, and uh, you know, like I said, I just try to work up the middle. You know, when I start trying to think pool, you know, a lot of guys try to pitch me inside. Um, you know, if I start thinking pool, majority of the pitches that are inside on me are probably balls off in in off the plate. And if I'm thinking inside, I'm going to swing. But right. if I'm thinking up the middle, and I recognize the ball is going to be in, I, you know, I take it. Right. Okay. Let's take a couple rips. Yeah. A little side flips, dude, which I which, which I like to do couple rips here it's spring training which this is the good time to just do whatever you want to do right you yeah. come out here no big deal no cage yeah. or anything like that so it's just gonna oh just right there right out of bed oh. right <laughs> yeah you're bad <laughs> right out of bed no big deal first two swings of the day just a couple right center missiles see like that i was just a little too much like that right so you just so. you're looking to just drive if it's over there boom boom yeah. just drive it right back up the middle into the gaps, right? Yep, in the gap, gap to gap. Gap to gap. You uh, you start thinking, you know, corners and stuff, you start get off balance, but uh, stay up the middle, gap to gap. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny when people talk about, hey, let me get, get up there and pull. When you try and pull everything, right? Yeah, I, if off. I, uh, you know, if I start trying to pull everything, I get a long swing, just gotta keep it short up the middle. And, you know, if you, if you stay up the middle, it'll help you on, you know, the pitch inside too. Because if you're thinking inside and they throw you outside, you're just gonna roll over every time. So it's yeah. just keeping you balanced and, uh, you know, up the middle. All right, give me two more rockets. Two more rockets? Yeah, <laughs> just like you've been doing, no big deal. Just a couple of ham and egg sandwiches and then a couple of missiles up the middle just to get things started. There you go. Trouty, thanks a lot, dude. Appreciate it, thank you. There you got it, best player on the planet right here. Hits off the tee, drives the balls up the middle, into the gaps. Back to you, Matty. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis, and today we have Mike Trout explaining where he stands in the batter's box. And when I seen this video, I was like, I need to make a video about it because it's something that no one talks about. You got everyone talking about loading the hit for power, extension for power. You got them talking about lower half, diving into the ball or scissors for power, but no one is really talking about what you really need to do to hit for power and that is hitting the ball out front and that right there is what Mike Trout does and that's why he's hitting for more power but there's a few other things that he says in this clip that allows him to hit for power and we're going to dive into it right now so the first thing you want to do is get closer to the plate now how do you hit for power if you're closer to the plate well if you're closer to the plate you're going to naturally hit the baseball out front and if anyone's been playing this game you know you got to hit the ball out front to drive the baseball but the key here is that you don't try to pull the ball you try to stay up the middle and at best hit it to left center if you're a right-handed hitter and if you're a left-handed hitter hit it to right center but you stay up the middle with your direction that way when you naturally hit it out front then you drive that baseball and that's how you hit for more extra base hits and more doubles and i know this to be true because i was the little slappy type hitter that when I was back in the batter's box, I would push everything to right field, hitting those duck farts over the second baseman. And then I started talking to my mentors, Barry Lark and Barry Bonds, Eric Davis. I started talking to those guys and they said, hey, you're too far off the plate and you're diving to the pitcher and you're diving to the pitcher. <laughs> you're diving to the pitcher and you're cutting your swing off and fighting your body so you couldn't so you can't get extended 
to drive the baseball. So they say get closer to the plate. And what that's going to naturally do is that you're going to hit the ball out front. You're going to get extension. You're going to work with your body instead of fighting your body. And once I started doing that, started hitting for more doubles. I started driving the ball more pull side because that was my weakness. I couldn't do that. I could drive it to right center, but I couldn't drive it to left field that carried over the left fielder's head and if you you know are looking to drive the baseball and you want to go to college if you want to go to the mlb you have to learn how to drive the ball pull side and when you do this that's when your game elevates that's when you're going to you know be that guy that everyone's like man how is he doing what he's doing so you have to learn how to do it but here's the second key you can't try to pull the ball you have to stay up the middle and you'll notice with mike trout he says that he says he stays up the middle because if you think pull when you're close to the plate then that opens up the outside corner that allows them to start throwing sliders curveballs change ups you're going to swing over it hit ground balls and you're going to be going back to the dugout and doing this inside the dugout frustrated or even worse throwing your bat around and hitting stuff you know because we've all been there but that's what's going to happen so you got to stay up the middle drive that baseball over the center fielder's head and if you have that swing path then when you hit it out front naturally, it's going to go pull side and go to left center and go over his head and drive over the fence or hit over the fence. <laughs> but that's what we want to do, right? We want to get closer to the plate. We want to stay up the middle, drive that baseball. And uh, another key to being closer to the plate is that pitchers do not like throwing the ball inside. They're scared of it. They don't want to miss over the middle of the plate and you hammer that ball. OK, so they stay away from you. And if they throw inside, they just show you inside. They don't actually want to stay in there. And if you get closer to the plate, they don't want to give you a free pass. So you limit the area in which they can throw inside. And when they notice you're closer, when you're in that batter's box that messes with them if they have a lot of room they can say okay i could throw it in there i can miss like one or two inches you know what i mean and you know he's gonna take it but you know i don't have to worry about giving him a free pass but when you're on top of it they can't miss they have to be perfect and that is the thought that goes through their head they're like man i have to be perfect and what do they do throw it over the middle of the plate <laughs> and if you're ready for it and you're early and you're staying up the middle, you're going to drive that ball naturally because you're so close to the plate. You're going to hit it out front without even trying because you're just close to the plate. It's just that's just how it's going to work. So that's the third thing that's going to happen is that pitchers are not going to throw the baseball um, inside and they're not going to be throwing it you know there they're going to be going away and if you're on top of that plate or closer to the plate i don't want people to be just right right on top of the plate i want you to be close to the plate and if you're close to the plate now that pitch that's away looks like a fastball middle to you if you were naturally or in uh, uh you know let's say three inches back from your normal spot or three inches back from the spot that um you know you are right now then that would be right over the middle of the plate and then you're going to be drive that baseball hit it way out hit more doubles and be more consistent okay if you're a player who wants to get better who wants to develop wants to hit for power i want to give you this book right here for free all you have to do is just pay the shipping this book right here really helped me to be the player I am today. And I want to give it to you for free. Just pay the shipping. Link will be below. So there you have it. Those are the three keys. And we're breaking down, you know, where Mike Trout stands in the batter's box and why it's important. And if you like this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis. And We've been having a blast doing these videos, so thank you. I'll see you in the next video.